We are here on Pure Country with Mr. Josh Ross. How are you doing? Good. Good, good to good. see you. Crazy to be here. I feel like you have been a pretty busy guy lately. It's have you gotten busy. some rest from all the craziness on tour uh, and the strep throat I saw that you had? Yes, yeah, strep throat <laughs> was legit. Not, not a ton of rest yet. Yeah. Uh, we had some days off, like luckily around the strep throat, which was good. But I've only been, I think we've been in Nashville for like six or seven nights so far this year. So it's... And we're like not busy. that far away from complicated coming out I know which I feel like when you and I first met Mm -hmm. before you moved to Nashville we kind of talked about how cool it will be at some point when you have a collection of songs because you'd been releasing you know one song here and there how excited are you for that moment to finally come to fruition where you're like fans will have a full project to listen to it's I'm like a little nervous I think but excited you know like I I, um yeah like you said it's been seems like single after single and I feel like the best way that Fans get to know me through the music, and I really haven't got to put a body of work together where it goes like, this is kind of all what's going on at once. And uh, the complicated for me is like the first time that it feels like I can showcase, um, you know, certain different different types of songs and, and sonically and lyrically. And um, I'm super proud of it, very excited, and and I feel like it's kind of like the start to kind of the things to come for me. Is there a song on there that you're maybe like the most nervous, excited for fans to hear? I probably complicated. Okay. Uh, that or there's one called Tell Me a Lie. Um, I think it could be like a really, really big song also. Um, not that I expected it to be. I, like I, I recorded it because I liked how it made me feel and just what it was. And it was a it, it was a tough song to record. And then it ended up turning out like probably is my favorite one on the record. So cool. looking forward to that. Right. Yeah. I can't wait to hear that one. And another thing that we talked about when you were making the move to Nashville, you because mm-hmm. you, of course, are a songwriter on all these songs. Uh, all of them, but tell me a lie. First, okay. first, first outside cut too. All so, right, yeah. that's cool. But you were so excited to be immersed in Nashville in the songwriting mm-hmm. world and really be a student of yeah. songwriting. Has there been a moment, and as a songwriter, that you've been in a room where you're like, "Holy crap! I can't believe I'm in this room with these writers," and where you really kind of took in what was happening that day? Yeah, it's like you start writing with all these people that like wrote songs that are just like, you know, they you grew up listening to or you were just so inspired by and. Um, yeah, just the littlest of things. It was uh, just before, actually, when we were in Nashville, I had a, a right. It was actually ended up being over Zoom because somebody was sick. I can't remember, but uh, it was with Red Akins, oh, cool. and uh, it was really random. And it's just like little stuff, like Thomas Rhett's kids are running around in the background, and I, <laughs> as he's like writing with me on Zoom, and I'm like, "What is going on?" You know, yeah, those are like or his kids, and I'm just moments. like, "It's yeah, it's just it's just very interesting." And um, yeah, it's it's weird in those moments. You feel like you're you're supposed to be there. But then when you step back out and you're yeah. like, oh, wow, like, you know, or somebody that, you know, wrote songs that I've just always loved so much. And um, you're like, you know, hoping to get one of those. Yeah. Those songs. are those moments yeah. where you're like floating a little bit yeah, above yourself totally, and you're exactly. like, am I really here? Exactly right what now? it was. Yeah. I feel like another one of those moments for you is definitely going to be at the Junos. Yes. This year. Yeah. How cool is that? Because you do have such a dedicated group of fans that really show yeah. up for you in such a big way to so to get recognized that's the biggest thing for me you know it's like it's not even about really winning for me it's it's just one i was saying representing country music is really cool at the junos and then and then two is yeah it's about the fans it's about for me what music makes people feel and you know how it's helped me so much in my life so it's it's been really cool to see um you know the, this past year with trouble and other songs what that's done to people and um getting to perform there and, and be there is just really incredible super cool and I mean touring wise you've had such great experiences over the last you know 12 months of touring and playing really big shows but obviously getting to go out with Nickelback had to be incredible yeah one of the biggest moments has there been something that you got to learn when you were on that tour from them that you're really trying to put into your shows and and your touring side of things yeah I think you know watching especially Nickelback was it didn't matter if it was like a Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday crowd. Um, they were so excited every night to go out. Whether you know, you just, you know, if you have a Monday, Monday crowd, it's you know, people still got to work the next day, so they're not as excited to, not it's not maybe excited. They're maybe not drinking, yeah. or, you know, whatever not it is. As but wild. Yeah, but but Chad would like work them to the point that they would, and <laughs> and uh, I really learned that because I'd go play those shows for them, and uh, you know, first to three, and say there was twenty thousand people there, I'd be lucky if two thousand were there to see me, um, and it was making those people that were there, you know, feel invested in me and get to know me through the set. And, um, yeah, I really learned a lot from them, just like how to control a crowd and the ups and downs and flows of a set or handle situations in the crowd that happen during shows and right. just, just stuff like that. Very professional. And, um, 
you could tell they've been doing it for over 25 oh, yeah. years. So. That's, what a great experience as a new artist to get to go and do that kind of tour. And last thing before we go, because International Women's Day is coming up. Okay. Um, and I feel like you have a really great group of women around you. A lot, a lot in of your girls around. Life and your personal life yeah. and your career. Yeah. Is there someone that sticks out that's really kind of been your champion in your life as a yeah, woman. I mean, definitely, definitely, was my mom. My mom, you your know, mom is very yes, sweet. My mom, <laughs> she can be a lot, and, <laughs> and I love her for that. But she, you know, she's um, she'll be you know at the show here in Toronto, and she's always always over supportive. Um, you she's know, always front row. Yeah, front row. Yeah. She's like, you know, you got to go do your dream. Like even when I moved to Nashville and all that, nobody really understood what I wanted to do, and um, that. And then I'm very lucky to have you know um, Kenzie and Tracy at the core. They're my management team. I'm you know they really believe in me, and yeah, kind of the things I. I aspire to be as a person and, and then, ch- you know, challenging me to, to stick to that. Cause yeah. I think it's really easy to get off track, uh, in this yeah. industry too. So it's good to have good yeah. women yes. around you. Yes. So good for you Thank to, you. to have Thank them. You. All right. Well, I'm super excited. Complicated is going to be out soon. Thanks for hanging Thank out with so us. Much, guys. Josh we'll Ross soon. on pure country. Mm-hmm.